Hi, Sanger Sons. It's Mrs. Gloom, and I'm going to be reading a book named This Way, Charlie, inspired by a real animal friendship. This Way, Charlie, by Karen Levice, illustrated by Charles Santoso. Jack watched the new animals scamper, hop, flap, and trot their way into Open Bud Ranch. Some would stay a short while, and others longer. A few might make the ranch their home, like Jack had done when he needed a safe and caring place to live. Open Bud Ranch had space for all kinds, and all kinds of space to heal, rest, and grow. Everyone could see that Jack liked keeping his space to himself. Everyone except Charlie. When Charlie arrived, he didn't see Jack at all. Hey, bleated Jack. Pardon me, neighed Charlie. Jack could tell from how Charlie swerved this way, but not that way, that Charlie could only see out of one of his eyes. Antonia explained that once in a while, for different reasons, blindness happened. She couldn't mend Charlie's sight like she had the eagle's broken wing or release him into the wild like the possums once they'd grown. But she could give Charlie time to see in his own new way. Antonia said that everyone deserves plenty of food, love, and patience. By now, Jack knew that this ranch gave plenty of fresh hay, groomed with soft brushes, and always trimmed hooves slowly. Still, he didn't want anything to get too close, too quick, or too loud. So Jack stepped back and watched out for Charlie. Charlie whinnied to everyone in a cheerful way, swished his tail, snorted, and stopped to sniff the honeysuckles, same way Jack liked to. He chewed thoughtfully and followed the sunlit patches, as if he wanted to get to know the whole place. But Charlie couldn't go very far on his own. Sometimes he bumped in an oops way, not a pushing way. A lot of times he stood still in a lost way. Jack noticed Charlie's eye had a soft glow like the moon, which often guided Jack when he felt lost in the dark. He wondered what Charlie used for a moon. Some mornings, Charlie pawed at a dry patch of dirt. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Hungry, thought Jack. Or scared? Maybe lonely? One day, Jack took an extra breath of honeysuckle in. In for sweets, out for brave. This way, Charlie, he said, and showed him the way to his favorite field. They grazed and bathed in the sunlight. The next day, Jack did it again. This way, Charlie. Jack walked a little ahead and on Charlie's seeing side. He slowed down where the trail got steep, stomped when they reached fresh water. And when it got too hot, he called Charlie toward the shade. Hey, Jack called. Hey is for horses, Charlie called back. Soon, the next day became every day. Walk, graze, sunbathe, return. Sometimes a quiet like warm milk filled the space between them. Other times, Jack asked Charlie questions about swinging a long tail, about galloping, being so tall, going blind, about bugs, plants, and clouds, about the ranch, the world, and sometimes about dreams. The way I see it, Charlie would answer. And Jack would listen. On cold and wet mornings, instead of going to their place, Jack guided Charlie to the barn. Charlie would step in, but Jack always stayed out. He wanted to go where it looked peaceful and dry, but his body remembered a different barn from long ago that wasn't calm or kind. Charlie couldn't make the rain or the past disappear 
but he could show Jack how kindness moves, sounds, and waits for skies to clear and new memories to take shape. Charlie could give Jack an inside, outside. Boom! Crack! Do you get scared of things you can't see? Jack asked Charlie. All the time, Charlie told Jack. But the way I see it, that's what a friend like you was for. Friend, Jack chewed over the word, like a mouthful of fresh, sweet grass. As the days went by, Charlie began walking more and more slowly. Then one day he stopped. He couldn't see out of either of his eyes now. So Jack moved closer and to, to the center of the path. This way, Charlie. Yes, this way, Jack. They kept walking, one hoof in front of the other, until it felt like Jack's steps were Charlie's and Charlie's steps were Jack's. Once, when the other goats went galloping by, Charlie said, We could play with them today. Jack trembled. Or maybe with the fawns, Charlie asked, or the new raccoon? I can't. Making new friends gave Jack a bumpy feeling. Let's just say hello, the way I see it. No, you don't see. You can't see. Charlie was surprised. So was Jack. He hadn't meant to snap. So close, so quick, so loud. A new kind of quiet filled the space between them. It felt like a swallow of dry, rotten grass, rumbling around their insides. Maybe that's why they didn't notice the sky was rumbling, too. Boom! Crack! Rain came pouring down so fast and thick that Jack couldn't see Charlie. Wind howled so loud that Charlie couldn't hear Jack. Trees bent, fell, and tangled, trapping Charlie. Jack tried this way and that way, but there was no way in and no way out. So Jack ran. Jack ran and ran for Charlie. He bleated to all the animals for Charlie. Jack banged at doors, found Antonia, and urged everyone to follow him closely. This way! Charlie! The mud was thick and the branches were strong, but the whole ranch working together was stronger. Finally, Charlie was free. Jack led the way inside. This way, friends. Everybody huddled together. Jack whispered, I'm sorry. And Charlie whispered, thank you. The barn filled with all kinds of snores, dreams, and a quiet that neither Charlie nor Jack could see, but both could feel was splendid and warm. Like the sun that rose the next morning, they walked that day, the next day, and every day for the rest of their lives, one hoof in front of the other. This way, Charlie, this way. <laughs>